Welcome, everyone, to a new episode of The Pondcast. Today's episode is Battle at the Pond, Cyndaquil. This was a Pokemon that was chosen as part of a poll for the upcoming Pokemon Legends Arceus. Joining me today is my co-host, Good Gamer Glenn. Hello. And, of course, <laughs> Sun Ryu. Welcome. And to get us started, want to talk a little bit about Cyndaquil. It is a Fire-type Pokémon starter from Generation 2. Its abilities are Blaze, where if it's at one-third maximum hit points, its Fire-type moves increase by 50%. Its other ability is Flash Fire, which is activated when it's hit with a Fire-type move. It's immune to the actual damage and increases Fire-type moves to 1.5 times the damage while the ability is in effect. You get all immunity to all kinds of fire moves, including Will-O-Wisp and Hidden Power. Its base stat total is 309, hit points at 39, attack at 52, defense at 43, special attack at 60, special defense at 50, and speed of 65. And being a fire type, it takes two times damage from ground, rock, and water types, and half damage from bug, steel, fire, grass, ice, and fairy types. And getting things started, Sun, why don't you tell us about your build? So the Cyndaquil, the build I chose is Flashfire. As for the nature, I chose uh, Timid because I wanted it to be fast. For the item is Assault Vest, so that way it can survive like get special attack moves. For the moves, I have the first one is Sea Wave, so that way I can hit one or both target, which would be nice. The uh, second move, it's a psychic move, which is very good against like fighting type or other types that are to a uh, psychic. For the third move, it's toxic, which allows me to uh, poison my, my opponent's Pokemon. The ones that are not immune to, to toxic and that would allow me to do extra damage over time, which would be nice. And also will of wisp so in case if I run into any attackers and then I can nerf their damage with will of wisp by burning them, that move. For the EVs, I chose was... 252 special attack and then 252 speed and then four and defense I, I really do like the fact that ryu put in heat wave because like usually a lot of people try to tend to stay away from using like the the aoe moves that could also potentially hit your partner as well like if you're playing a doubles battle and then yeah so i definitely like that uh that idea yeah i i, I, I can see it like th this is like what i was thought like i was thinking about earlier like uh kind of <laughs> yeah it's risky but you can okay let's say for example you do doubles right and then you yeah, want yeah. like your pokemon that has another flash fire ability which would be perfect match with your uh with the pokemon you you know they like present the car right so, interesting interesting yeah. no 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 yeah you're right you're right though you're right because you can power up your, you can instead of taking damage, instead of your one, your Pokemon taking damage as well, it will help them with with that Heat Wave, which will power up their uh, special attack. But doesn't Heat Wave only affect the opponents? It doesn't, it doesn't affect any partner Pokemon. Is that how it works? Oh my god! Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. It was Lava Plume. I think Lava Plume was the one. Oh, yeah, that gets... yeah, Lava Plume. Does it even learn Lava Plume here? Yeah, it does. But the other, the other thing that sticks out for me is you chose the Assault Vest and you're not going to be able to use Toxic or Will-O-Wisp with the Assault Vest on. No, I'll probably have to change it though. I didn't think about that. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's the, that they, those are the two, those are the two glaring ones, but like move wise, you've no, got a got. great, you've got a great balance though, because you've got your fire type for stab. You've got your yeah. psychic type for everything but dark. Then you can either poison or burn, which the burn's going to stack really nicely with your defense, with the little defense mode you got because burn cuts the, the damage for attack da or attacking Pokemon. So the item, I'll probably would change it to like, our restriction is very. Okay. Glenn, what about your build? I, I know, like earlier, I was like thinking, "Oh man, I, it seems really hard to find a <laughs> kind of unique build for Cyndaquil in general." Because, like, I the only thing I can think of was special attacker. But then, so I was like, "You know what? Let's, we're gonna settle on a physical attacker." So that's what I did for my Cyndaquil. I just turned him into a physical attacker. Uh, yeah, the move sets I went with Flare Blitz because you know for the stab move, I went with Wild Charge for Water type coverage, Quick Attack just to have a priority move because I feel like I might need it at one point and then just maybe protect but you can probably sub protect him for like another attacking move i don't know maybe you want to be a little bit cheeky and put in like rollout or something or you maybe you can put like status move like work up to just raise its attack a little bit more or you can be even cheekier and put in like, a trap that would be kind of funny actually 
I went with Flash Fire for its ability as well, because uh, now that Ryu like spoke about it earlier as well, like if, if it does get hit by like a fire move or something, it would raise its attack. I think maybe something that can like cast Willowist and is like really fast could also be like another thing, right? Because I think you can cast Willowist on your your own partner Pokemon as well, yes. right? So, yes. Yeah. So like maybe something fast like uh, I don't know, like a Frostlass or something. I think it can learn Willowist. Maybe just use that on Cyndaquil. Uh, proc the flash fire ability and then boom um, the flare blitz will be doing a little bit more damage <laughs> maybe a little bit too much damage to like mitigate that i did think about putting on like leftovers on the syndicate just so it can like get its hp a little bit you know recovered every turn uh maybe another like pinch berry or something might help out i went with an out of it nature because i did want to max out its attack stat tried to also make it uh max out on speed as well and that's pretty much the best i got i mean maybe you could go if you go with like all four attacks instead for you can probably switch over to like a choice band i don't know maybe do a little bit more extra damage even though if you're locked into a move <laughs> wait so what nature is it sorry out of it okay yeah yeah you can do physical attack as well it won't be good as special attack but with, with physical attack it will give you more uh better move option though so what was your move again was small charge flare bliss protect uh, right yeah, protect. And then a quick what attack. I, I don't know. Quick attack? Yeah, okay. I just wanted to put like a priority on there. <laughs> yeah, I got you. That's just some decent move, yes. And then you guys want the good moves. I would have gone with left over it. You're going to use move like Prayer Bliss or Wild Charge. I, I do appreciate the fact that you went physical with this one. It's, I mean, the stats is only eight points lower. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's negligible. And most people probably won't see a physical syndical coming out. So that, I like that little surprise fact. The leftovers isn't a bad idea, but I'm more concerned with longevity. I don't think the leftovers will help you as much as the berry would for healing. Well, okay. Simply because simply because of the fact that you're going to be taking damage on off of one of your attacks, right? The flare blitz? Yeah, the flare blitz or the wild charge, depending which, <laughs> which yeah. one drops. I and, and you're going to be taking a hit as well, most likely on that turn. So yeah. it's it's something that you need to watch out for. So probably, yeah, Pinchberry is probably a better option. For my Cyndaquil, I went with the Flashfire ability as well, because in all things, I'd rather have an immunity to fire mm -hmm. and boost myself up, which means I can safely swap him in if I need to. And I gave it the Expert Belt because it <clears throat> bumps super effective damage by... Uh, 1.2 times okay, and, okay. and and you're going to understand why in a minute as far as moves go burn up was the first move i chose for cyndaquil which burn up has this neat little ability that removes fire typing from the pokemon that use it and there's only a handful of pokemon that can use it to begin with add to that that now cyndaquil becomes typeless and typeless is a very unique and interesting effect. So it it's almost uh, similar to uh, like a normal type then? Nope. So the, the way it works is I lose stab. However, yeah. all of my moves deal normal damage and I only take normal damage. I have no weaknesses. I have no resistances. Which for Cyndaquil, considering that it is a little on the frailer side and there's a lot that can hit it, that can hurt it, it just seems like a really good idea. The only caveat is you can only use Burn Up if Cyndaquil is a fire type. So okay. unless I swap him out or give it Protean and then use a another fire move to give the fire typing back, Burn Up is a one and done. You wouldn't be able to use it again. However, it's got a huge damage hit to it of 130 so it's uh, as an opener it's really good i also gave it extra sensory for psychic damage hidden power grass and heat wave and expert belt would apply that bonus damage to all three of those moves if i'm using them and they're super effective since i no longer get stab i needed something to mitigate that damage and expert belt kind of felt right to me as far as what i did with the evs is i pretty much dumped it all into hit points and special attack so that it's got that longer lasting chance especially with it being typeless at this point and what little is left i put into special defense and i ended up giving it a modest nature to amplify those special attack damage 
Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. We'll be good against, um, do a little bit more damage with Pokemon that are weak against fire. And then with Burn Up, he's more like a special attacker, kind of flash tank ish because of a little bit more HP endurance. So, yeah. yeah. <clears throat> the way how you build it is interesting, so. Yeah, I, I, I've got to agree. That's a very spicy build. Like, <laughs> like I, I wouldn't even think about using Burn Up at all on any Pokemon in general because, like, I wasn't sure, like, I myself, though, like, I wasn't sure on, like, how it works. But that's that's actually pretty interesting, like, just having that <laughs> burn up ability, and then like you're just increasing your damage already. So it's like, yeah, uh, what, what what better way than uh, the coverage moves? I thought was pretty neat as well, like extra sensor. Like I didn't, I, I think I saw it when I was scrolling down the list, but I'm like, does he really need it? Like, <laughs> but that's that's just like my opinion. I mean, it does also have the that's ability only... to make the target flinch. So yeah, that's but cool that's too. only if you're playing as a special attacker. Otherwise, I would not, or if you didn't mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the hidden power, I totally, totally forgot about hidden power because, because like we are kind of looking at this as like a VGC 2019 kind of deal, and it's like I totally forgot about hidden power <laughs> <laughs> as well. Just so you understand how how rare it is to have a Pokemon with burn up, there are currently only two Pokemon in the current meta that have burn up on one of them that can use it exactly the same way as Cyndaquil can which is Growlithe and Arcanine. Cantonian Moltres is the only one that has burn up. Cyndaquil was the one that also had it and in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon only Tepig was the last one to get burn up. So there's only four Mon to ever get burn up, excuse me, as a move. But only Growlithe and Typhlosion can become typeless permanently. So could you just imagine ro rolling Arcanine, Justified, get go typeless, get smacked around by Dark Tag the way people have been running it, and then all of a sudden watch this thing just swing for the fences at everything? Yeah. This is true. Typeless Pokemon take regular damage from all moves, just being able to not have to worry about water or ground attacks as much is I think a benefit. Definitely remove its weaknesses that way, so yeah, mm -hmm. I can see that. Um, I mean, it, it's it's honestly one of my favorite moves, just because I can pull that off. I gotta say, that's pretty damn unique too. Hot damn. <laughs> this is one of my favorite Pokemon, to be honest with you. Uh, I do play a lot of fire types, and... Oh, same. And, and Arcanine and Typhlosion were two of my favorite Pokemon to try to use simply because of the fact that they can go typeless in the middle of a fire match and completely throw somebody's game plan out the door, especially when you've got such a high stat for special attack. I mean, you could see where I was going with, with the expert belt at that point, because if you go typeless, you no longer get stabbed. So I'm kind of cutting my damage in half. So in order to mitigate that, I use the uh, expert belt for mine just to get some of that back. And since it says the move has to be super effective, I don't have to have the stab to make it work. And it makes all of my attacks do more damage. If anything, um, maybe just having the ability blaze and then using a flare blitz afterwards would just make it really kind of be like, like a last ditch effort skill to try and take down your opponent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's probably why it, why it works better with Blaze and even Wild Charge to be honest with you, but Blaze yeah. even Blaze better. The Wild Charge with the recoil as well as the Blaze with the recoil will help you get to to Blaze faster, but then you've got to be careful because of the fact that you're now running really close to being knocked out for that extra 50 percent damage it just feels like there's a better way to go about it there probably is i mean i, I can't think of it so I'm pro probably one of the uh, viewers here the watching will probably think of it <laughs> yeah i'd like well, i really, really would like to know for example that would really be good for a speed run because i have seen people have done that and and it's really effective so <laughs> running around with like all beat up and just like blowing through mob after mob of pokemon spawns <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, it's possible because all it takes is one move and you can knock everything out once you get TD5 of the Shanta Pokemon. Well, everyone, we've reached the end of the episode and it's kind of a little, a little short today, but we'd love to hear what you guys think. We'd love to hear any ideas that you might have or even suggestions on how to make our builds a little bit better. Feel free to leave a comment down below. You're always welcome to come join our Discord. Link will also be down below. And hopefully you'll all have a great and wonderful day. Thanks for joining us. Bye. 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 <laughs>